There is a light inside of every one of us, an ember that burns and begs us to become more than what we have ever been. It's our aspirations that must become our allies. I noticed that everything that I have accomplished over the course of my life, I accomplished with a new set of beliefs and a new set of habits. I noticed I was able to make things happen when I destroyed the door in the room. See, I don't care what your goal is. It could be relationships. It could be to lose weight. It could be to make more money. It could be to become something nobody in your family has ever been. The moment that you destroy the door, the way out, in the room of your dream, that's when you make it happen. What you do while you are in pain will echo through the ages. Scrape the grill of your past and get all that junk out of there. Of every memory of every failure, you need to unplug from everybody and everything that is telling you that you cannot have your future, that you cannot have this goal, that you can't do what's on your heart to do. You gotta unplug, 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 unplug. There are too many people in your life that keep telling you that you are not qualified, that you don't have what it takes, that you will never be able to accomplish because your resume ain't long enough, because you don't have the experience, because you are unfit. And so you gotta unplug from all the negative voices. You gotta unplug from everything and everybody that's telling you you cannot have that dream, that you are not qualified to have that dream. You gotta unplug. You gotta unplug. It may hurt because there are some people that you're going to have to let go of. There are some people that, that can't come with you to the next level. They're not qualified to fly at the frequency that you're flying at. They cannot come. And you got to get in touch with you. See, you can't have the dream unless you know you. Now, everybody wants this dream. Everybody wants this lifestyle. But they don't know themselves. And so you need to take some physical evaluation, some emotional and psychological evaluation, spiritual evaluation, and you got to figure out, okay, what works and, and, and what doesn't? And, and what are my boundaries and what are my limitations and what am I capable of and what do I need to work on? And then you need to connect with the people that believe in your dream. Life moves at the speed of your relationships, connections, and circles. You need to ask for forgiveness. You need to forgive yourself. You need to reprioritize your activities. Everybody wants the dream to come true, but nobody wants to reprioritize their activities. Nobody wants to hack into their habitual nature and build new habits that are going to give you the future that you seek that you seek after. If not now, then when? Dream big, start small. You gotta dream big, start small, act now. Dream, dream big, big, start, start small, small, act, act now. now. Stop waiting for the temperature to change. Stop waiting for your feelings to be in check. Stop waiting for everything to line up. It's never going to line up. It's never going to be perfect. You just got to jump. You just have to jump. There are no roses without rain. If you can remember that, then you will always see adversity as advantage and obstacle as opportunity. Know this, that your process may be messy, but your mess will become your message. So what is your why? Because if your why is powerful enough, then you can persevere through the process. What is it? Find it, define it, be reminded that you can, you will, you must never give up. The actions that you take, the moves that you make will we'll echo, echo throughout, throughout the ages. The ages as there is a generation of people who are attached to your why. And if you don't succeed, they'll never believe. So make it happen. Persistence, consistency, resilience, courage, establishing your priorities, mastering self-awareness, maintaining focus, believing, that your help is coming because if your dream only requires you 
it's not big enough. And I know it's hard right now, and I know you feel like quitting, but you gotta understand there is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Stop lying to yourself and telling yourself that you have time. See, the greatest lie that you have believed far too long is that you have time. You have time. That there is a tomorrow that, that you can drag your feet and you can, you can crawl. Sometimes you gotta run. That kid, you can't crawl towards some dreams. You can't walk towards some dreams. Some dreams you gotta run towards. You gotta run, baby. Run, run, run. Run after it. Run like there's no tomorrow. Run like you know you deserve it. Run like you know that there is nobody else that can attain it. Run after it. For many of you, defeat has traumatized you. And it has left an image in your head. And this is why you won't go after it. I want you to erase the face of defeat and embrace the process. Now, I know for many of you, that's like a bad word. You hate process, but see, the process is a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. And in order for you to reach your end, that end is going to have to be extremely valuable in your eyes. The process is muddy. The process is murky. The process is dark. The process is cold. The process is gonna leave you in places where you're gonna feel like you have been abandoned, like nobody believes in you, nobody supports you. When you don't see a light at the end of your tunnel, you gotta remember the light that is burning inside of you that nobody is able to put out. There is not a person on this planet that can stop you. There is not a person on this planet that can puncture your potential if you could just get through the process. Just get through the process. It's muddy, it's bloody, but it's worth it. At the end of the day, it's worth it. No sunrise without a sunset. There is no one like you in all of the earth. There is no one that can do what you can do. You are the only option. You are the only play. Nobody else is gonna be able to do this. Know this, that your process may be messy, but your mess will become your message. So what is your why? Because if your why is powerful enough, then you can persevere through the process. What is it? Find it, define it, be reminded that you can, you will, you must never, never give up. Give up. Thank you.